what's up? Yeah, I'm, um... I guess I didn't have to get y'all with the big old what's up? Yeah. I'm about to cook dinner. And... I got ground meat that I need to use. turn it on when I start cooking so the house don't get too smoky and stuff but anyways so um run it back I got some ground meat I need to cook so I don't want meatballs or um meatloaf I don't want to make hamburgers or nothing like that I want like tacos but not tacos i don't know paul just went to the store to get some more tortillas but i had some tortillas in there they've been in the refrigerator i don't think they're bad and so they're like the crispy uh tostadas so what i was thinking is i might make a casserole with it like do a tostada ground meat beans or like tostada beans like refried beans refried beans like layer it basically okay you get it tostada refried beans ground meat cheese boom tostada refried greens ground meat cheese boom another like that layer 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 all right so that's what i was thinking about doing doing that and then maybe make like some kind of i don't have no cilantro so it ain't like i can make like cilantro lime rice but maybe just some white rice i don't know but i told him to go get maybe some more tostadas or taco shells and um some sour cream because i like to put that on top and yeah so i'm about to get started i'm probably not gonna do a whole lot of talking i'm probably just gonna cook this is my first time cooking on camera like this in a very long time i did it a long long time ago with feel rich y'all can go check out those old videos i do have them like below um i do have them in one of the groups on my page i got like some old stuff um so i do have like some old recipes and stuff too and then too so y'all can go check those out but um yeah but right now i ain't got no cameraman doing all this and the editor and all that it's me doing it so i'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking i'm gonna just cook okay now when i cook let me just say i cook so i know y'all probably want to see what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use this extra virgin olive oil um i also got the holy grail right here from H-E-B my bell pepper celery and onion and I know you like mm, do bell pepper celery and onion go on tacos yes it does because I really just want the onion and the bell pepper out of here and that's good the celery is just an added bonus so I got that that's going to go in here too with my meat um I also got some baby carrots so I got them stored in my refrigerator like this I got some baby carrots um, I like when I go to the Mexican restaurants. If you go to a real Mexican restaurant, you notice, like, sometimes in your taco, you will find a piece of potato. You have a little piece of potato. You have a little piece of carrot in yours, you know. Sometimes you may have a little bit of tomato, carrot, and potato up in that thing if it's real good. And um, so, I put all that in mind. I got, and I also got some um, jalapeno, some chopped up jalapeno. I generally don't buy it chopped up. I just, I got jalapenos in my refrigerator. I actually have serrano peppers because I'm a heat freak. I love spicy food. Like, I love spicy food. And y'all, don't pay attention to the house in the back, okay? We'll talk about all this another day. All right, we'll, we ain't going to do no house tour. But we'll, we'll talk about the house and all that and what plans for the future and all that. But anyways, I digress because I don't want to be talking about too much. Um... And back to the tacos here. And of course, I got my ground meat. Ooh. Ground meat. And I got some potatoes over here. 
Um, so I'm going to get my ground meat going. I don't do anything like any particular order. I'm not going to show, well, I might show y'all me cutting up everything, but where's my cutting board? I got a cutting board right here, y'all. And I use a cutting board, but I'm really just using a cutting board for y'all to be fancy. Because to be honest, I'm generally cutting my vegetables up like this. Or I'm cutting them up in a plate and just dousing everything up in there. If I use the cutting board, I'm really just being fancy or I just felt like doing it that day. But to be honest, I don't generally use the cutting board. I kind of just use plate and like get it done because like I'm cooking for the family. So I don't have time to get all fancy every time and pull out a damn cutting board and all that. Like my sister used potato peelers and all that. I bought a potato peeler. I don't like peeling potatoes that way. Let me show you how I peel potatoes. The very primitive way. See, this is how I peel potatoes. And I get the job done. See? Let me show y'all. This, this is how... This is how I peel potatoes. This is how my mother taught me to peel potatoes. My sister be using the um, potato peeler and all that. But, like, I can't even use a potato peeler. It does not... I'll show y'all. Like, my wrist and the potato peeler don't work together. It just, it just don't work. See? My potato peeler and my wrist, it just don't work. It don't move. <laughs> All right. And I just feel like I get it done quicker just like this. Boom. And look. I'm done. I'm done. Now all I got to do is chop, 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 chop. Put this in my food. So that's, I like doing, I like keeping it simple and keeping it easy and not stressing myself out with trying to be fancy with it. You know what I mean? I know y'all know what I mean. Got my trash over there. Don't don't pay attention to that. I don't know if y'all can see that over there or not. I hope y'all can't. But just need to head my dad. Whoop. Clean it up. Anyways, back to Taco Monday. What? Alright, so I'm about to start and I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. Oh my bad. Let me say this. I'm gonna turn my music on because I feel like when you cook, when you're cooking and you got the music on too, like it's a vibe. You know, your food always tastes better. My food always tastes better when the music is on. So I'm gonna be cooking with my music on. That's why I'm not gonna be talking to y'all and telling y'all what to do. So maybe I'll do like a little voiceover um, when I edit it. I, oh, also I've been having so much fun editing, you guys. Like I'm having a really good time editing i don't know if you know generally i'm sure it gets stressful and i'm sure if i keep it up you know i don't know i'm not gonna say that I'm, i'll get tired of it because i i'm really enjoying it i'm really enjoying it it's it's a lot of fun for me but anyways the new video is coming out the new vlogs coming out and it's gonna be lit it's gonna be a lot of fun i listen to y'all i listen to what y'all said i listen to that feedback um you wanted the videos longer you wanted more um, you wanted to hear what we were talking about Okay, so y'all gonna hear them conversations and it's gonna be longer and it's gonna be good I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I mean, it's not like we're doing a hell of a whole lot of crazy stuff But it's just like it really is my life so and I'm thank y'all for receiving it in the way to which it was given you know with love and sincerity and no bullshit all right, let me cook these tacos. I'm gonna turn my music on. Let's go.
casserole. So, you know, I wanted to keep its edge. So, I'm layering it. And you don't have to do this. You can just put your, your tortillas in here. I mean, your, you know, tostadas in here any way you want. I just want mine kind of layered. And because I like my sides thick. So, you know. Anybody else like eating the corner of the casserole? Like, I like the corner of the casserole because it's always, you know, done right over there in the corner. Alright. So. I, uh. Now, you don't have to put your stuff in the oven. Lately, I've been cooking stuff on the stove top and then sticking it in the oven for the remainder of the time because I be tired of sitting over the stove sometimes. Especially on my days when I don't feel like cooking. Today was a day where it wasn't that I didn't feel like cooking. I didn't feel like cooking a big meal. So I let my meat and stuff cook, cook, cook. I let it cook down, put my potatoes and everything in there. Let all that cook down, get a little soft. And then when my potatoes got a little soft, um, then I stuck everything. I stuck it in the oven. Just to like let it soften up while I go do stuff. And I set my timer to like 20 minutes. Um... So you can do yours 15, 20 minutes. I'm one of those people I don't like. I don't like chancing that my food might be uncooked in any type of way. Also, when I cook some of my meats, like with this, this is taco meat. I generally always cook my taco meat on the stove, like stove top. But today, like I said, I was being a little lazy. So I cooked it stove top first and then I stuck it in the oven. Um, so that's just all it is to it. Generally, I cook it on stove top though. But you can do it whichever way you want to. This is just how I want to do it today because... I don't feel like sitting in the kitchen. It's hot. And I don't feel like it. I don't feel like doing all that. Ooh. So I'm going to layer this. Oh, let me get my cheese. Mexican style cheese, taco cheese. And that is my timer going off on my oven because, like I said, I just don't feel like it. Oh, I stuck everything in the oven and set it on 20 minutes. And now, y'all see all that? And that's a lot of oil on top. this oil off the top and then I'm going to get to layering one second here So I got a couple of options. I really could just pick it up because the beans they hot though. It's hot, yeah. Oh, I'm not making a mess. I'm making a huge mess. So I'm gonna spread my beans. 
Let me move this pot back so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Spread my beans all over here. <laughs> what you back there doing? You dancing? Huh? You back there dancing? What you making? The casserole style. Mm. Right, I told you it was gonna be good. It is good. It looks real good. And I started doing the oven. It's like a Mexican pizza. You made Mexican pizza? Well, it's kind of like Mexican pizza, but it's like a casserole. Maybe more like Mexican lasagna. Yeah. 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 That's it. Now Mexican that lasagna. Good. That's the ground meat that I'm going to layer it with next. That look like what's your problem? Yeah. I'm going to layer it with some cheese. Um, and I'm going to layer it with another layer of cheese. I just kind of want this cheese to help it stick together. Well, that was an alternative for tacos. Hmm? Right, because I really wanted tacos. Yeah. Ooh, tomatoes. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I still got a whole tomato in there, too. I was thinking about, like, chopping it up Ooh. in squares and putting it on top. But, you know, I don't know who uh Well, we all like tomato. Mm -hmm. Call Courtney, see if she coming over. Pick a deal. Pick a deal. That's what it looks like. The yeah. meat? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. All right. It's pot hot because it was in the oven. Yeah, I put the carrots in it and the potatoes in it. Do it on a separate plate, though. I'm gonna keep it real. He I'm gonna tell y'all if it tastes pot. good or not. I'm gonna tell you if it tastes good or not. Don't nobody want you doing that. Uh -oh. They wanna know if it's good. Mm. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. You over here playing. Get a plate. I don't need a plate. For a bite. <laughs> she ain't answer. I really need to put this pot right here so I can get to it easy without making a mess. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good, pick a deal. Yes, that's exactly what I meant. Pick a deal. Baby. Make a uh, move. Oh, you get on my Well, nerves. I told you. Stop, move. Uh -uh. Oh, you tripping. Get on my nerves. You get on my nerves. Cut that out. Yeah, you can have a bowl of meat. I 
always do that. I always press eight instead of zero. Me too. <laughs> Why do we do that? Because we used to the other one. It's because it got the houses set up. It got this eight where the zero usually be. Yeah. Hello. I made it. I'm, well, never mind. Oh. She hung up. She was really be tired. on top of that cheese. So what's going to happen is when it melts, it's basically like a Mexican pizza or a Mexican lasagna. Should, do you think I should continue to call my vlog, uh, my YouTubers, Bam Squad? Or should I change their, you know, should we give them a new name? Like a wall something. Or should we keep them Bam Squad? Because I like Bam Squad. But, I mean, I love Bam Squad. So. But, it's almost like I'm introducing the rest of y'all to everybody. They're the wallets. The wallet. Yeah, like wallets. Wallets. <laughs> the wallets. Money. The wallets. Then the other thing, I don't want Bam Squad versus the wallets. Cause Bam Squad, you know, they get real. They don't play no games. What I put in it? Mm -hmm. My same seasonings plus um taco seasoning. And then I put um uh 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 get the hell away from here. Quit playing. Play too much. Play? Yes, you play too much. You're doing too much. Don't don't be sneezing over here about I this food. Never. This shit funny. This shit is not funny. <laughs> I've seen your face, and you was making that sound that you make before you sneeze. Then you knew it's real, cause it's like any other time I sneeze. But you, you look like real. you was trying to do it on purpose over here, like being funny. Why would I sneeze on on top of the video? I don't know why you would. I, I don't know why you didn't run in the other direction. We running out of beans. On the, side of the, on the side of the pot. Y'all know that's why I tried to pour them, but the pot was still too hot and it hurt. All right, Will and Noel. <laughs> Everybody like, uh. All right, what's she telling me? Mm -hmm. We're really running out of beans over here, but we're going to 
gonna spray them out as much as we can. And we're gonna hit them again with some more meat and cheese. This time I'll just put the meat on top and then I'm gonna do cheese. Because I got cheese already underneath the tostada. And I want the tostada to kind of soak up any of the meat juice. The juice, the grease, all of it, whatever is left on this, this meat, I want it to kind of soak into the tostadas. Sorry, I'm trying not to like make a mess. Stars. Oh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. We're going to put it in the bathroom under the sink. I'm going to put soap and stuff in it. Use it like that. Because that's a good little um, container. left in here. Ooh, it's hot. soften up. I don't want my tostadas to stay hard. That's also the reason why I put the rest of the juice from the um, taco meat on there because I want most of my tostadas to soften up and turn into like casserole. I want to be able to cut it with a fork and you know cut it with a thing and pull it out like a lasagna. But it's like a Mexican lasagna. I'm making this. So before I stick it in the oven, let me show y'all. That's what it's looking like. And then when I take it out, I might chop up some tomatoes and put it on one side. Just, you know, make it cute. Maybe not. I don't want to do no super extra stuff that I usually don't do. I want to keep it all the same as what I usually do. Oh, and now I'm going to cover it with some foil. Yeah, you can rinse it though. I mean, it's actually fine. Why you do that when it's done the cheese stick to the foil when it cooks? 
I'm not going to um, let it touch it, touch it. See, it's like puckered. But also, you know, even if it's thick to it, it's not that big of a deal. I wanted to, what I really wanted to do is cook the tostada real good. Like, make sure that tostada gets soaked, soaked, soaked. Because it's layered with cheese on top of cheese on top of cheese. All right, so it's going in. I'm going to say 15 minutes. And then I'm going to check on it. In 15 minutes check on it i would check on it in 10 minutes but i'm gonna put mine in for 15 because now i'm about to clean up my mess and go usually i would have me a glass of wine but i am not drinking because all i got is rose and it sucks balls <laughs> Rose. I got okay, y'all. So I was supporting the McBride sisters. If y'all don't know who the McBride sisters are, I call it Black Lady Wine, Black Girl Magic. I was supporting them, and we bought some rose. I really like their. Um, if you like rose, you'll like this. I'm not a big fan of rose. I don't like rose like that. I like Riesling. I like. I like Moscato, but I like Riesling. I like um, I like Champagne. I like Champagne. And um, Jasmine, what's my other drink? Prosecco. I like Prosecco. I can drink Prosecco any time of day. I love it. I put a little pineapple juice, a little orange juice, something like that in it. Love it. I just feel like it goes with everything. But um, this wine... It's good if you like rosé. Courtney likes it. I just, I'm not a big rosé girl. And I actually bought it when I wasn't drinking. And um, I should have got the other one because I really, really, really like their Prosecco. I think that's what it is. I think it's their Prosecco. That's really good. There's another one that comes in a green bottle. This Prosecco. Oh my God, it is amazing. That's the one I want. When I go to HEB, I'm going to have to remember to get that, and then I'll show y'all exactly which one I'm talking about. And I guarantee you, if you like Prosecco, if you a sparkling, bubbly gal, you like you like that type of drink, you're going to love this one. Not this one. This one's good if you like a rosé. And I have a little bit, just because, you know, but I don't really like rosé. Rosé is tart or something. When I moved, I think all of my wine glasses went with my sister too. But really, let me keep it real. I don't fucking use no wine glasses. I'm at home. I'm at home. But you know, because I'm on YouTube now, it does make me want to invest in some wine glasses. So I might get some when I go to Target or to Home Goods or something like that. I might get some um uh, some new wine glasses. Cause I used to have them, but like I never used them. I like these things. They're so easy. You can just toss them away when you're done. So. But I'm sure it's bad for the environment. I'm sure it is because, you know, it's plastic. I'm sure it's better to drink out of a wine glass. So, when I, baby, oh. Jasmine, what's um? Oh, you don't know the name of that wine. And I already figured out it was Prosecco that I was looking for. Um, yeah, how you say it? Prosecco? Is that the right way to say it? Is it Prosecco or Prosecco? Leave it in the comments if you know. <laughs> What's your favorite wine to drink? Let me know. Are you a red wine girl, a white wine? Moscato. Do you like a spritzer? Are you a Moscato babe? I used to be a Moscato babe. A Moscato, Moscato babe. too sweet for me now. So that's why I like Prosecco. And I just feel like I can add my sweetener to my Prosecco. But, ooh, this one Prosecco I'm talking about, y'all, you ain't got to add nothing to it. It is so good. I'm going to get it. When I go, it comes in a green, it's a green and black bottle. We had it for my girl's, uh, my girl Missy's birthday. Shout out to Missy. She had a fun birthday party. Real low-key. And, um, I mean, like, it was like a, one, a ladies 
retreat weekend. It was nice. And so she had that Prosecco there. That was, that was my first time trying it. And um, she had the other McBride Sisters wine. I think maybe their Prosecco too, because I love Prosecco. And theirs is good too. Theirs is good too. So I highly recommend that. But this is Rosé. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I just, I don't like Rosé. But we're going to drink tonight. Cheers to our Mexican pizza slash casserole slash whatever it is. But it's going to be good. So now I'm gonna check on my casserole because I'm on I'm gonna check on my casserole. Um, now I'm gonna check on my casserole to make sure that it melted. Yeah, come on now. See the heat coming, and now we got to do the test where we dig on in. Hold up. Okay, so the cheese has melted very well. I just did my little test, the scoop test. It's good, but I want my edges to be, I want my edges to get a little bit more softer. Um, so I'm going to leave it in here five more minutes. Just five. Nothing crazy. Cause it's really ready right now but it's just me it's just me it's ready to go right now while well, I'm waiting <laughs> but I had to get to the consistency that I wanted to get to I'm going to um, dice up some tomato I don't know what that is, but it looks good. Yeah, it's the casserole. That's cool. Mm-hmm. All right, Mom, I'll let you make me a plate. You're going to make your I own plate. I love you too, buddy. Up. I love you so much. That's why I'm letting you make your own plate. Yeah, but I love you so much, so I'm going to give you the pleasure of letting me make I love you plate. so much, and that is why I think it's important for you to make your own plate. I love you too. It teaches you, you independence. Well, and then that's why I think you should make my and then when you grow up and get a wife one day, you're not going to expect her to make your plate. Like, it's a nice thing. It, well, it's a nice gesture. Like, Are you? Are you? Yeah. All right, do you want a particular corner? Or it don't matter? Do you want fresh tomatoes on yours, Will? Or you don't care? Mama. Do you want tomatoes or what? Sure. All right, he's not looking that pretty, but it'll work. Here we go. You want uh, sour cream on top? Huh? You want sour, sour yeah. cream? Yeah. Who is that? Is Noel over there making a request too? What is wrong with it? Why y'all don't like to fix our own plates, children? Because when you make it, it adds more children. It's a little much. See, now, you know what? Since I'm making Will plate, I might as well taste this food, you know? Right. 
Oh, I know that look like a lot of food, but it's gonna be so good. And that. It <laughs> <laughs> looks like shit in my way. Hey, when you done, can you put the the um foil back on? I got a little on it. Yeah. You laughing? <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm about to go grub. Okay. I'm about to eat. Okay. I don't know what to call it. my Mexican pizza. My what, what what do I call it? Taco casserole. Mm, I don't want to talk about um, yeah, I'm gonna have fun editing this down, but boom, it's sexy and delicious. Man, you should I try it. Food? Okay, she want to be buying <laughs> food. All right, bye. I got to go. We'll talk to y'all later. Talk to you tomorrow. Peace.